Hello, and ever wanted your grub loader to look like this, this, or this? Then you're at the right place. Today, I'll show you how to configure and customize your grub loader. So, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, leave a like on the video, and follow me on my socials and all that shenanigans. And let's get straight into it. First, uh, go to your browser and just search for grub themes. And yeah, it's actually that simple. Just search for grub themes. Oh my god, my arch nemesis has arrived. Hold on. <laughs> Yep, I failed like once. Bro, trust me, I am not like faking it or I'm not doing this as a joke. Like it actually doesn't let me like get through. Let's see. Uh, thank God we got it through one mistake. So go to Grub Themes and you'll see something that is Grub Gnome Looks. And although it's Gnome Looks, it works on Arc or any distribution. So don't worry about it. You have pretty Tarel themes. And uh let's say you can see that like, these are the themes that i showed uh let's say this one uh let's say we like this so let's click on this and then get into the link right here and this is kind of like a preview of what this will look like and you can also have like it full screen so depending on what you want and i think yeah there are two files if you go to files you can see one is window and one is sidebar and i think one of them I think this is a window, so this basically is a little one, and I think sidebar is this one, which covers the whole screen. Now we'll get both of them just to compare. So let's download this. It should get downloaded, and it's pretty small files, so it shouldn't take too long. Now let me get the other one as well, and there you go. We have two files, and you can extract it with um, terminal, or you can just be smart about it. If you are on a GUI system, just install Arc or something. By Arc, I mean, um, okay, let me just open the terminal here. I'll show you both ways. Um, and also, if you want to see how this is configured, check out the last two videos I made to see how all of this is working. Anyhow, we are in downloads. And what I want to do is first, let me show you how to do it with terminal. You can literally just do tar. Uh, first, let me do ls. Let me see the files. Okay. So first you can do tar and then let's say I want to extract the sidebar and it is an XZ format. To extract that, you can do XVF. And make sure the F is last because it kind of messes it up if it's not last. So XVF and then we'll pick office sidebar. Sidebar, there we go. And also make sure you can actually press tab to autocomplete. So in case you didn't know that. So there we go, we have that. And I would just like to extract it as is. I don't want to put it in files or anything, just extract it. So as you can see, it extracted it right here. And if you don't want to do it that way, you can literally just install a package. This is for KDE or uh, Arc. This is for KDE. And if you are on GNOME, you can use file roller. So this, so both will work, but I personally like Arc because it just integrates with KDE really well. So there you go, it is installed. And for this, we can literally just right click it extract and then extract here now why am i extracting it right here that's because there is an install file in here so you can see there's 2k 4k 1080p so depending on what monitor you have you can pick the, one of this so there you go as you can see installed and then preview png and there is also a file if you go in here that is uh where is it now there you go theme.txt now this will be important remember that but first let me show you the easy way let me just clear this out and then what we can do is just literally just let's say let's install the sidebar one first so let's install the window one first why not so if i do cd office window grub themes and get in here ls and you can see we'll go into 1080p because the monitor basically what i'm using is 1080p and in here you can see there is install.sh now just for a good measure i like to always uh, enable execute permission now if it's already enabled it really doesn't do much but if it isn't enabled this just enables it so i'll just do sudo chmod and then it should have permission now and then we can literally just do install.sh and so start installing oh my bad <laughs> you need to do dot slash so just to say yeah this is the one you want to run there we go and it needs to be run as root as it is modifying the grub loader so there we go and I can see it says checking for existence of theme directory. So it will create a theme directory, install office window theme, setting up Windows default, updating grub config. It's done. Yeah, it's actually done. So if we just do a quick reboot now, so just quickly reboot it. 
and it should now show you that theme. There you go. As you can see, the theme pops up. And I will also show you that in case you are wondering how to get this, uh, the resolution to change, uh, that's actually doable. Uh, the next one I'll show you. So now let's say uh, the theme you downloaded or you made the theme yourself, you don't have that uh, install script yet, you haven't got around to doing it. Uh, also, the theme you downloaded probably doesn't have, like, so anyway, like whatever you did, uh, there is another way. Remember the themes.txt file that I said to remember? Yeah. So that will be handy now. So let's get back. So we installed the window variant. Now let's go to sidebar. So if I do sidebar, we go into 1080p and then office sidebar, obviously this theme.txt. Now what do we do with this? Let me quickly show you. If I just uh, go to the terminal and then let's just do ls slash boot slash scrub slash themes slash, you can see there is a theme called starfill. Now we can actually copy the theme that we have like in this directory, CD directory. We have to copy it in here. So we can do CP. I think we sh I should need to do sudo. So we can do CP and then let's copy it from uh, tilde slash downloads and then office. Again, this is not act right, like uh, mandatory, but it's good to do. Uh, Windows, grab th no, we installed window. Now we want sidebar sidebar there you go and we want everything so in the cp command if you are copying a whole directory you have to specify with dash r which will just recursively go through the whole thing i forgot it's a capital r or smaller i don't know i'll just put smaller so we want everything in here to go to a directory let's just call it o sidebar okay so it says file exists why is it saying it's file exists so if i do slash boot slash grub themes sidebar there we go now i have 1080p and then in here you can go office sidebar you can see there is our theme.txt now why is this important if we just go to our, our remember we did already install script so it should be already updated but if you do slash hc slash boot so not this one my bad we can do sudo and Vim, so make sure it is running at Suzo and your text editor of choice. It doesn't have to be new Vim. You can use Vim, you can use Nano, you can even use code if you want choose to do that. But I'll just go with and new Vim. And then we can do etc slash default slash grub. This is the file we need to edit. Now the interesting part is if we scroll down in here, like at the bottom of the file, you'll see this right here. It says user share grub theme office window theme.txt so it just copied it to user so it's like i think it's specific for our user we just have to change this change this to have uh, the theme directory that we specify so what is this theme directory so let's just find it out so if i just do ls slash remember boot slash grub slash mm, themes slash OS sidebar, yeah, it will be a long name. NDP, you can do, and then in here, office sidebar, and then our themes.txt. This is the entire directory. Basically, just find your theme.txt file, and then we'll just copy this. So, we'll shift C. There you go, it is copied, and then I'll paste it in here. So, we can just uh, remove this part. So, and then do control shift V, there you go, it has been pasted. And now, like I said, that uh, we want to have it full screen. So you can see this right here, this is GFX mode auto. So in here, what I do is just do 1920 by 1080. So the resolution that I want to run grab at. Now, usually the auto mode is fine. It will just work. But again, for VMs and stuff, it kind of gets janky and it doesn't like to work. But that should be it. Let us try, now first, we have to just, uh, let's do grub, so basically update grub, mkconfig-o slash boot slash grub slash grub dot cfg. There we go. If I just update this, now if I, let's see if this works. So you can do sudo reboot now. Hopefully, fingers crossed, this works. There we go. As you can see, it is full screened and we are in the window theme. So that's basically how you get your themes to work in uh, Arch Linux or generally in Grub. 
it will work for both of these methods depending on whichever one you prefer. So if you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like on the video, comment down below what theme are you using on Grub and follow me on socials and make sure to check out my Patreon and support me on there if you do like what I do. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.